Sidam children, hope you're all doing good. Wishing you all a very happy Ugadi. India is a land of diversity and people belonging to different cultural backgrounds reside here. So, all through the year, you witness a lot of festivals. The month of April brings in regional New Year celebrations all across the country. Ugadi is one of those regional New Years that people from different parts of the country celebrate with high spirit, especially children. Sai Ram, happy Ugadi to one and all. Let me tell you a story about Ugadi. According to the Hindu mythology, Brahma, the creator, commenced the act of creation on the day of Ugadi. Once a demon named Sumakasura stole the Vedas of Lord Brahma and hid in the sea. Brahma saw the help of Lord Vishnu who took the Masyavatara, went under the sea and killed the demon. Thus he brought back the Vedas and gave them to Lord Brahma. As this entire incident happened on the first day of Chaitra month when Lord Brahma got the Vedas back and created the universe. We celebrate this day as Ugadi, which means beginning of a new era. Our one year on earth is equal to one day for Lord Brahma. When we begin a new year, Brahma starts a new day. Therefore, Ugadi is celebrated in commemorating the beginning of creation. This Ugadi is called as Subakrut, meaning that which creates prosperity and confers auspiciousness. According to the Indian history, Ugadi is celebrated from the times of Mahabharata. People from ages celebrate this day with great devotion. Not only in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, people from all regions celebrate Ugadi with many names. Guddi Padwan Maharashtra, Ugadi in Karnataka and Chetty Chan among the Sindhi people. That's all my dear friends. Another such custom that is specific to this festival is the making of Ugadi Pachadi, a special chutney. This dish practically serves as the highlight of Ugadi celebration. You all must have had it. Some of you may love it, but I'm sure some of you do not really like it. So, let's get into knowing the significance of Ugadi Pachadi. This dish is prepared with ingredients like jaggery, which is sweet, that shows the happy moments in our life. Neem flowers, which are bitter, but they show the difficulties we might have to face uh, during the year ahead. Tamarind, which is sour, and that depicts the challenges one might face. Salt, which shows the interest in life and also advises us to take everything with a pinch of salt. Raw mango, which is tangy, that depicts the surprise elements in one's life and green chilies which are spicy and they show the angry moments of our lives. This dish is significant as it has all the tastes of life. It teaches us that life is a mixture of all these emotions. And it also teaches us that life can be experienced to the fullest only when we are ready to embrace everything it has to offer. Sairam children, wishing you all a very happy Ugadi. May our beloved Swami shower his blessings on all of us. Happy Ugadi once again, Sairam. <laughs>